and welcome to another episode of WooVar. In this video we are going to learn how to create response cards from our Lambda responses so Lex can display them in Facebook and in Slack. If you are interested in watching more content like this, subscribe to my channel in the red button below. I post a video every Tuesday, so let's get started! <laughs> As I said, we are going to create response cards. We are going to create them programmatically. You can create them as well from the console, from Lex. So that's one way. In this case, you are going to create them programmatically from the responses that Lambda is creating. We can use it in many cases. So we can, if you check the documentation, you will see that the response cards are in many parts of the, in many responses, like in the complete, and in the licit slot and in the close, so things like that. So you can give that kind of options to the customer or the user of this bot. And in our case, we are going to add the response cards for the licit slots, meaning in the case of validation, if the validation is not okay, so for example, we don't have that type of size or we don't have that type of coffee because we are following our coffee uh, ordering bot that we created in the in this series so if you don't know what i'm talking about go ahead and click in the card that uh, will take you to the first episode on this playlist uh, so in our bot we have a validation that if for example you order a coffee that is not in the list of valid coffees or you order a size that is not in the list of valid size and then there is combinations of size and coffees that needs to match so if somebody uh, types like they want a large espresso then you will see a response card like saying we only have expressos that are double or normal. So then the user can click on the response card and that will be sent to Lex to process the order further. So the basic the benefits of using the response cards is that the user doesn't need to type and it can see in advance what are the options because sure you can say I would like to order a coffee but if you don't know what are the options, you can say anything and you can, and the user can be for a while back and forth trying to figure out if the coffee that he wants is the one that is available in the coffee place. So that's why the, the response cards are very useful. One thing with the response cards is that they are not visible in the Lex test bot. So they're only visible in Facebook and in Slack. So you need to be careful on how to create your responses so they're uh, they're seen in in these platforms and i don't know how it will work if you are integrating this to uh, an application where you have your own bot so i imagine you will need to integrate these response cards as well there so as i said we are going to create a response cards for the licit slot so whenever the validation fails it will show you what are your options so let's go to the code now in this to create a response card, what we are going to do is to modify the illicit slot response as I already said to send the response card. So we are going to our Lex responses JS in the code that we already have created in the, during this series and we are going to create the response card. If we go to the documentation we can see that the response cards is look like this. There is some parameters like version, the content type, the generate attachment, there is an array, there is a title, a subtitle, an image URL, attachment link URL and buttons. So we are going to create a response card with one generate attachment and we have one title, an image URL that will show a little image there and then it will have buttons depending on the options for the user to select. Also we need to code the type. So in the code we get the response card, it has the content type, it has the generate attachment, a title, an image URL and buttons. That is what we are going to add to our elicit response, elicit slot response. And also we need to add things to our uh, the signature of the method because we now we need the title, the image URL and the buttons. We go to the Manage dialogues that is called by the order of coffee, and then in the validation result, now we need to add these options that is the different options that we want to show uh, as buttons so we can pass this information further to responses when we are creating them. Also, we will use Lodash, so I will, I will require here Lodash, and then as I said, we are going to send this. Uh, 
show these response cards when the validation fails. So we are going to create uh, an options object. What it will have, it will have everything we need uh, for for displaying this 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 response card. So we are going to the internet and we are going to find any any image that has coffees. You can use any kind of image. I'll just pick that one. If you are using this commercial leech, make sure that the image belongs to you and you have the rights, because in this case, well, this is just a random image. And then we'll have another method that does the get buttons that will generate the buttons depending on what is on the types. Uh, in this case, we have the text and the value is the same and we will pass it through there. Um, it's a basic, uh, uh, basic method. So the get options will have a title that will have something in the sense like select a coffee and then we pass as the different types that we want to show in the in the box in the options we want to show the types of coffee the four of them because in this case the user just put something that was not one of those valid options so here we do the same for the size select the size and then we pass the size because now the user select a size that is not valid and, and we do the same for the other validations in this case the latte and the cappuccino can be only normal or large so we will just pass normal or large in the in the types so those bottles will only show normal or large and the same for espresso can be normal or double same stuff and for americano is only normal now whenever the validation fails it will show this card with the valid option so then the user doesn't need to type it again and the last thing we need to do is to modify our uh, list slots creation with these new parameters that we added in the method signature the title and then the url and the options so here we have the title the image url and the options now I save. When I save, the plugin that I have in the in the Atom will format everything automatically. So now everything looks better. The line doesn't look that long anymore, and we can see the options title, image URL, and then the options. And now we can deploy, and we can verify in Facebook and in Slack. So. We go to Facebook and we say hello, how are you feeling today, great, and then it will ask you would you like to order something and you say I would like to order a coffee and it will say what kind of coffee and um, espresso and you say I show you the normal flow and then I would like to order a large Expresso, that's not valid. Now, how no expresso you have to choose between normal and double, and the image is loading because it's too big. Pick an image that is fast to load and it doesn't take forever. And if you choose normal, then uh, I don't know why Facebook is doing this that it takes forever to reply, and then you need to type it again or you need to click it again in order to react. I don't know, it didn't happen with other bots, with this one it did, and the code looks exactly the same. So if it happens to you, leave it in the comment bot below. Below, I don't know, so we, we have a support group for people that their bot is doing stupid things. But now if I put it again, it just works. Yes, it's stupid things. And then in, in Slack it also works weird. I don't I didn't try with other bots in Slack. This is my only Slack button bot. And here I say like the large espresso and then you know how large so it shows you the size, the big normal, and then that attachment disappears and then it will ask you yes and then it will show you attachment again. I don't know. This is weird. I haven't tried with other bots in Slack, but this bot is very weird, but well, this is how I did it for other bots and it works fine. So let me know if it has the same problems for you. 
This was the video for today. I hope you enjoyed. This was the last episode in the series of legs. Oh, I don't know how many videos we made for this, but there were a lot. But if you have any requests or anything you would like to see in this series, leave it in the comment below. I would love to add more videos here that they are interesting for you. So just comment below and I will get some inspiration from you guys, as always. Around here, there is videos from my channel for you to go and click and watch. And I see you in the next episode of Foo Bar. Ciao!